Tuesday, April 12th. I'm Natalie Morris and it's time to get loaded. Amazon slashed the price of the Wi-Fi only Kindle to $114, but only if you agree to an ad-supported model. You can still buy the non-ad-supported one for $139, but if you want to save yourself $25, you can buy one that will advertise to you every so often. The model is called the Kindle with special offers, and CNET editors did not find these ads too intrusive. I'm just wondering why they only give you $25 off for this deal. Could they spare it? Google launched a trivia contest that allows you to Google to find answers. This is kind of fun. A Google a day is a site that gives you a daily puzzle that can be solved with some clever Google searching. The questions will be featured on a agoogleaday.com and printed on the weekdays above the New York Times crossword puzzle. The answers will be revealed the following day. The legal battle between Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and the Winklevoss twins has come to an end. The twins sued Zuckerberg for allegedly stealing their idea for creating the site. Now a court has ruled that they have to shut up already and accept their settlement. Do not feel sorry for them though, the settlement is for $65 million. Google is going to invest $168 million in an alternative power project. The project comes from a company called Bright Source Energy. It involves building a solar power plant in the Mojave Desert that is projected to light 140,000 homes when it is completed in 2013. Google is not the only financial backer of this project. The U.S. Department of Energy has also loaned $1.8 billion to the effort. An Illinois senator is planning to introduce a law that would require sales tax on all online shopping. This is something we could see proposed after tax day. Democratic Senator Dick Durbin plans to introduce the bill that puts an end to tax-free shopping on places like Amazon or Overstock. Right now, you don't have to pay sales tax if you buy from an out-of-state vendor. Durbin says this gives online retailers an unfair advantage over brick-and-mortar retailers. Sony introduced two new OLED monitors. They are not cheap, but they are a lot less than the first generation of these monitors, which sold for between $16,000 and $29,000. The new lineup of super high-def monitors includes a 25-inch model for $7,400 and a 17-inch model for $4,900. They are expected out in the second half of this year. That's your news of the day. I will see you tomorrow. I'm Natalie Morris with CNET, and you've just been loaded.